Hi there, let's take a look at local Summit County, Colorado inventory levels and the months of supply of homes for sale, homes, condos, townhomes, residential properties, and the month's supply of inventory and what that turn that equates into an absorption rate. How many, how long would it take for our market to currently absorb everything that is for sale without anything new coming on the market? Um, and that, I've got two different numbers here, two different graphs rather. This is Frisco, Silverthorne, Dillon, and then the purple, all of Summit County, month supply. So we have seen a trend, January 19, 20, 21, 22, uh, where inventory levels really went down. And now they're, the month supply of homes for sale is starting to go back up again. So more options for buyers. Uh, same thing with the ski resorts, Brett Copper, Keystone, and Summit County. The trend here, the perspective is, um, you know, pre-pandemic, pandemic, wow, January of this year, there was 0.9, uh, less than one month inventory for sale. That's not a lot of options for buyers. We're starting to see those numbers go up a little bit, which is indicative of a healthier market. What type of market are we in? We are definitely still in a very strong seller's market. The National Association of Realtors kind of defines that as uh, the months of inventory of home for sale, less than six months is a seller's market. We are still very much there. Buyer's market is gonna be over seven months. I don't think we're gonna see a shift to a true buyer's market uh, for a while. Interest rates, current mortgage rates compared to the last five decades. So we are in a seller's market still. We are in an appreciating market, but at a much slower pace. And this is nationally and locally, um, particularly. This is from Freddie Mac, just to give a little more perspective, uh, the decades, 1970s, 8.86 was the, was the current average median I don't know if it's average or median, actually, um, from this infograph. 70s, that was the rate. 80s, 12.7. 90s, 8. 2000s, 6.27. 2010s, 4.09. And here's where we are currently. So when people say, ah, interest rates are going up. Are people still buying? Yes, people are still buying. Interest rates are still so very re low relative to where they have been historically. Are we going to get back to the under 3% artificially induced? I don't think so. Are we going to stay um, around you know, that 5 to 6% range this year? I think so. It's an opportunity. It is still a good time to buy. And if you're considering selling, you know, it's going to be more challenging because of the com competition more homeowners putting their properties on the market. So don't wait, let's talk.